In this video, we'll look at the Thousand Eyes Endpoint Agent and automated session tests in more detail. The Thousand Eyes Endpoint Agent allows you to collect device level utilization statistics and network metrics so that you can monitor the performance between users and the applications they're connecting to. The agent also has the ability to run automated session tests, which dynamically map out the destinations that a user is connecting to when running critical collaboration applications. Let's take a look at the visibility you gain with the Endpoint Agent over in ThousandEyes. ThousandEyes lets you create dashboards to help visualize the most important data and get a quick glance into the performance of your applications. You can create dashboards that are specific to certain services, such as WebEx. Here we're looking at a dashboard that's gathering data from our cloud and enterprise agents, looking at the most important metrics for WebEx meetings. You can see we have a section of widgets for voice health, measuring things like MOS, discards, loss and latency for the RTP stream. And we also have video health, which looks at packet loss, latency, and jitter across those connections. In the middle is a geographic view, so you can look at the agents that we're testing against, and if there's any performance impacts, you can see the green dot for packet loss, and then there's some latency on the video stream, which is indicated by the red dot. At the bottom, you can also track the individual statistics per location. We can also look at a dashboard that's specific to the endpoint agent data. Here we've created one focused on WebEx performance from those endpoint and room OS devices. You can see we have an agent status at the top, tracking location and online or offline status. We then can track some key endpoint WebEx statistics such as jitter, packet loss, and latency across the different locations. Moving down, we can also view this as trending data to see the WebEx performance over time for those same metrics. These dashboards are completely customizable, so you can create any view you'd like to quickly visualize the most important data for your organization. Let's jump over now and take a more in-depth look at the endpoint agents. You can now see some of those Room OS devices that are registered alongside of Mac and Windows endpoint agents. These automatically get registered and activated once that ThousandEyes integration is set up on the Control Hub dashboard. Now that all these devices are recognized, it's really easy to add them to an automated session test. Let's look at our test settings. We can add a new automated session test here. We'll tell it which application we'd like to monitor, either WebEx or WebEx calling. And then we can select those agents. You'll see here we have a listing of some of those Mac and Windows devices, and then we have our Room OS devices below. Once they're added to this test, they'll automatically begin running the automated session test when a WebEx meeting is started, and you'll be getting those network metrics both within the ThousandEyes dashboard and also within Control Hub like we saw on the network path and path visualization view. Now you'll remember before when we were looking at the path visualization in Control Hub, there was a link to launch the ThousandEyes dashboard. This is what that looks like if you click into it. So now we're seeing detailed statistics for those endpoint devices, which are on the left. And then we see the path that they take to get to the WebEx services, which are on the right. You can see when there's any latency or loss along the way, such as within the Virgin Media Network on this path visualization. This makes it really easy to pinpoint whether the issue was something local to that user, somewhere along the way with a transit ISP like in this case, or with the actual services themselves.